LGBTQ Ukrainians fear not only for their lives, but the persecution of their identity under a potential Russian occupation. The Russian regime has made no secret of its prejudice against the LGBTQ community. The country's gay propaganda law bans children from being shown content about our lives. It's used as a de facto ban on discussing LGBTQ life. The horrors of the gay purge in Chechnya stand out as a frightening event in recent Russian history. The violent genocidal attack on LGBTQ people in the region, also shocked the world. And now, their invasion of Ukraine has shocked the world. Before it even took place, there were scary reports. Plans to target LGBTQ people, who Russia defines as dissidents, were discussed in a letter from the U.S. to the United Nations. Russia has a list of journalists, activists and gay rights advocates, who could be killed or sent to camps after the invasion of Ukraine. It will be a human rights catastrophe, the U.S. letter claimed. It's why LGBTQ Ukrainians have been telling me about their rush to hide their identity online. How they spent the first days of the invasion deleting dating app accounts, clearing their WhatsApp messages of anything queer. Now, as war rages on three weeks in, many of them are fighting in the Ukrainian army. The LGBTQ plus community is Ukraine is in huge danger should Russia win, Vlad Shast, a Ukrainian territorial defense volunteer tells me. Shast, is only 26, and is a queer performer popular on the Ukrainian LGBTQ scene. Once known for a drag act. Shast is now using his contacts as a stylist to help the army find materials and supplies. If Russia wins, it means darkness. There will be no freedom, no opportunity to be yourself, no rights for diverse communities. It was tough to be LGBTQ in Ukraine, even before the war, 